these these shelves are bare, right? Like, I mean, you, there's no making up that there's a lack of product. These shelves, this is DC Petworth at a pharmacy. Um, this is Denver, Colorado. This was three hours ago in Rhode Island. It's very clearly reported all across the news that there has been a tampon shortage. From baby formula to now there's some new tampon shortage. And now tampons are in short supply across the U.S. Like, where did they go? Periods don't stop for tampon shortages. Dana Marlowe is the founder of I Support the Girls, a nonprofit that supplies women in need with essential products. Not all women menstruate and not all people who menstruate are women. And so it really is impacting a lot of different communities differently. Dana said she started noticing the shortage in January of 2022. And it increasingly got worse as the weeks have gone on. So how did this happen? If you think of the supply chain, it, it, it should be flowing like a river. It should be a continuous, smooth operation. To find out, we asked David Lynch, who reports on the global supply chain. During the crisis, because our consumption patterns changed and we all stuck at home, not able to go spend money at restaurants and ball games and movie theaters and concerts. So we're all buying stuff. We're buying a new laptop. We're buying a desk so we can work at home. And that sent demand skyrocketing for all those goods that are made in China mostly. Now you, you fast forward to this year, you've got suddenly war in Europe, the worst war since 1945, which has disrupted commodity markets globally. It caused the price of oil, which feeds into just about everything, and natural gas, to skyrocket. The price of agricultural commodities to skyrocket. Now Chinese factories in parts of the country have shut down again uh, until recently because of a fresh COVID outbreak. There's also personnel shortages and resource shortages. The special shape, unique material, and the way it's made. I know that plastic and cotton, two of primary elements that are needed for tampons in the U.S., have been harder to get and harder to source. So it doesn't take much to throw the whole system out of whack. So should we expect more shortages in the future? I don't think anybody would be surprised if we had additional shortages, spot shortages, in isolated products uh, at some point over the coming months. To get the supply chain back to uh, sort of pre-pandemic operations, our consumption patterns as consumers uh, has to switch back to the pre-pandemic world. Hang tight. I think it might mean for folks of privilege being able to purchase their tampons online through their stores that are available online that are keeping their prices the same. Um, it might mean some people trying out different products, such as period underwear or menstrual cups or reusable pads or regular pads. Uh, and for people in need, I Support the Girls is doing their very best to get out as many period product options that we can.